What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. So we have a lot of things in the works this week. We had our 2007 Toyota Yaris at HP recently fixed. Our 2011 Hyundai Sonata is currently at Hyundai getting a recall done and the RV is going out on a rental tomorrow. Which is great news because the RV actually just came back from a rental and now it's already going on its second one. So summer is here in full force. Second one this week, which to HP's point is huge because we didn't get our first rental in the RV until November and the next one after that wasn't until what? Like February? Yeah. If it was like months later. So the fact we got two in one week is massive. and we're here to prep it for the rental that it's going out on tomorrow. Now this is one of the pretty big negatives of having an RV versus a Turo fleet is that an RV is very much more like an Airbnb. We have to go in, clean it, disinfect it, switch out the linens. That way it's ready to go tomorrow whenever HP meets the renter. Do you have a keys? Liar. <laughs> now. taken care of we are about to go journey to see what could be our 15th turbo car let's go I didn't forget it so the car that we're gonna go look at now is a 2011 lime green Ford Fiesta now I know the F word is basically forbidden there's two F words Ford Focus and Ford Fiesta double F's but this one is a little bit of a different situation so we always tout that we don't like these cars for a number of reasons but the main one only being that the transmissions are big failure points and it's not a matter of if it will fail it's a matter of when it will fail luckily this one has had its transmission replaced and the best part about this one having its transmission replaced is that it actually has a three-year warranty on the transmission itself so I think we're setting ourselves up for a pretty good car I feel good about this one. Fingers crossed. You're not supposed to hit the curb, did you? No, I didn't. My truck's too low. It's the underbelly thing. That's what they all say. It's the spare tire thing. Hello. How can I help you? Just need to make a withdrawal. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. Ready, Freddy? Let's go. So we've made it to the car. HP, what are your initial thoughts? Initial thoughts, it's dirty clean. I mean, it's kind of like... Sort of like the Hyundai that we just got. It's like dri driven dirty. Like he definitely didn't 
clean it before selling it. And I don't know why they do that all the time. I don't time. get it either. So the story goes for this guy is that his uh, wife bought it, they drove it down, they were using it as a commuter car, and then the transmission went out one day when she was almost home. And she never wanted that to happen again, so they decided, fine, we'll just get you a new car. They were still making payments on this one, supposedly, and that's why he hadn't really done anything with it. And now I think that they stopped making payments, they were able to afford a new transmission. He works at a shop, which is good and bad. I can tell you that if you work at a shop, you probably don't want to replace everything. You just want to get out of your hair instead of fixing it. So I don't know. We'll see. There's enough things that I feel like he could have done, like replacing the struts and maybe putting new tires on it. But yeah, but I mean, it's a pretty cheap car. And so maybe from his perspective, he's like, you know, I'm going to sell it for cheaper and then not fix this stuff and then call it a day. Yeah, kind of strange, but I mean, there's two ways of doing it. So we're going to pull into this gas pump right here. And we are gonna see our crystal ball, which is AKA the scanner. So aesthetically, the car is really, really sharp. It has like no real significant issues. It's extremely clean, no real dents. It's just all around a really clean car. Okay, so one thing that's kind of concerning, which I should have known from the clock, is that we have a reset. So that means that somebody either jumped it off. It didn't seem like it had an issue whenever it started up. So why is this? Oh, we already got a code too. Ah, here we go. So heat resistance bank one sensor two. So it sounds like the O2 sensor is going out on the downside. It's having heater resistance. I'll have to Google that one. So it sounds like the fan's coming on. But it sounds like it's only coming on because we have the air conditioner on. So let's turn that off real quick. So I see a little bit of debris in that reservoir. Now factoring that this car is a 2011, it probably hasn't been topped off with coolant all that much because I'd see a lot cleaner coolant or I wouldn't see as much of that debris in there if it's been, you know, extracted, exchanged. So I would like to see that versus seeing clean coolant, especially in a car known for coolant issues. Really? Yeah, it would. Because, I mean, it's kind of like a used car. You don't want to see a lot of fluid that's been changed because that's a little suspicious. It's kind of like a shiny engine bay. Yeah, it is exactly right. Nobody wants to see a clean engine bay for a used car. It raises some concerns. What are you hiding? Okay, HP, so what are your thoughts? So I like the car. Uh, when we're looking at like total cost, the tires are decent, but they might need to be replaced. So at least two tires. Uh, we're looking at the struts. So let's say that's, I don't know, I'll ballpark it on this one. $200, say 100 for the pair, nice ones. Um, needs an alignment. So we're looking like maybe like what, 500 bucks? I'd say 500 max. 500 max? Yeah, I think we could easily get two this tires. car rental ready and under with under 500. Two tires install. Which means it would be a $5,400 investment. Which to me, I like. I mean, I, I think that that's a solid, a solid price. And one thing I like on the inside, it's actually a nice car. I mean, it's aside from a chip on the windshield, maybe a little bit of dirt here and there, the car is pretty solid. And With a good cleaning, a carpet cleaning, a nice vacuuming, it will be really clean on the inside. I also really like the steering wheel. It's very yeah. it's leather wrapped, it's sporty. It's a nice car. I also really like the color. Booger green.
Nice car. I know, right? Look at the color. Girl, did you sneeze on this car? Or is this burger green from the factory? I can sneeze in the car. Ooh, gross. But not on it. All right, you guys, well, there you have it. We have our number 15, the 15th car in our Turo fleet, our beautiful Booger Green 2011 Ford Fiesta. And guys, as always, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell, and we'll see you on the next episode.